Number three, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a bronsted lowry acid, and then we have letter C. So in this case, we need to show with an equation how NH3 is acting as an acid, specifically a bronsted lowry acid, but bronsted lowry were just the two scientists that uh, invented this idea. Now I gave us a little cheat sheet idea down here that you know, what is that exactly going on when an acid converts into its conjugate base? Conjugate just means that it's going to be on the product side, all right? But since they're saying that we're starting off with an acid, NH3 has to be on the left-hand side. Now, since we're dealing with net ionic equations, we need states, and your acid and your base, for that matter, we're dealing with aqueous solutions. They're in water. Now... I'm going to draw my double arrow, and one thing is for certain, NH3, or any acid for that matter, will always drop a hydrogen, and one H plus will be on the product side. It's basically going to be losing one hydrogen, so that's for certain. So we could always just add that plus H plus and figure out the rest from there. Now keep in mind that there were three total hydrogens at the beginning. But if you got rid of one hydrogen, how many hydrogens are left in your compound? Yeah, there should only be two hydrogens. So the nitrogen won't be H3 anymore. It would be H2. And it's got to be aqueous. We're dealing with acids and bases. So that's the first thing. You drop one H. It was a three. It now is a two. But now you just got to worry about the charges always minus one from your original. So if you're dealing with an acid, it would be whatever that charge is, minus one. But I don't see any charges in the upper right-hand corner, so that means that there was a zero, right? So zero minus one. Zero minus one is just a negative one. I could just say negative, or I could say negative one. It does not matter. But now we're done, and that is the balanced net ionic equation for the acid. NH3, that's the acid. This is the conjugate base, and it just breaks off one hydrogen. And that's what acids do. They always donate their 1H. Okay, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. I love talking to you guys. I hope you're having a great day, and let's keep studying hard. I'll see you in part D. Okay, bye-bye.